Welcome to the NetSuite Fixed Assets Data Upload Training. This is part of a series when we are implementing NetSuite, we have to migrate all the data into NetSuite so that we can use it. And as part of this process, we've learned a lot, we've made a lot of mistakes, so we wanna share our mistakes with you and so that you can learn and avoid the things that we've done wrong. So we'll review the data migration process the list or the types of data that you would upload and the sequence you need to upload them in, that's very critical. And also the fixed assets upload process itself and dive into details. So the data migration process has five steps. Identify the data to be migrated, prepare the CSV file, upload the data in NetSuite, resolve the issues and validate the data. You'll repeat this process as often as needed until all of your data has been uploaded. And we have a separate training session on each of these five steps in detail and the mistakes that are made. But now we dive into the list or types of items that we upload. So there's the chart of accounts. That's the foundation of everything in NetSuite. So that has to be the first list that we upload followed then by employees, customers, and vendors. Employees, customers, and vendors are very similar in the upload process. And then finally, the fixed assets process, and that's very unique, so we wanted to focus on that separately. So the fixed assets list upload, here are some of the fields that are available. The asset name, the asset type, purchase date, depreciation start date, last month in service, so depending on how NetSuite is configured, some fields may be mandatory, such as the subsidiary field. If a field is mandatory, then the data has to be populated during the upload process or you will have an error message. So based on that, we've given you here an example of what an upload file looks like. So you can have an asset name, the type, like leasehold improvements, you could have IT equipment, you could have building, of course chair one and building isn't the same, but we're just giving you an example. When you've purchased it, the last month in service, the original cost, and the subsidiary. The subsidiary tells us where to place each of these assets in the right set of books, assuming you have multiple companies or multiple subsidiaries set up in NetSuite. If you make, for example, departments a global mandatory field during the NetSuite configuration, it may not be captured in the fixed asset module. But if you try to upload an asset without the department and try to run depreciation, that would cause an error. The error is because the system journal entry is created, but it's unable to calculate depreciation expense because the mandatory field like department is empty. And we're sharing this very specific tidbit with you because it's happened to us where we've done the upload, we've tried to test it and see if the depreciation expense is accurate. And because we missed a critical field, the department field, in, in our client's case, it was required, the fixed asset depreciation expense wasn't running. So we wanna share that. So next we'll show you then in NetSuite the login process and how that works. Now for the fixed asset upload process. Go to Setup, Import Export, Import CSV Records, Import Type is Custom Records, Record Type is FAM Assets, Fixed Asset Module, now you're going to choose your file to upload. Click Next. Click Add and choose Next. Click the pencil icon for subsidiary and choose Internal ID under Reference Type. Click the pencil icon for accounting method and choose internal ID for reference type. Choose 
asset name equal to asset name. Choose last month in service equal to last depreciation date. Choose item description equal to asset description. Choose current net value equal to current net book value. Click Next. Now save the map name or file name. Click Save and Run. You will see the green successful confirmation box. And you'll click the link on the import status. And you see it's still processing. And now three records successfully imported. You're done.